66. Do y'all see that? It's cold. And it's been blowing for like four or five hours. I'm getting back in the bed. I was going to do makeup. And I have um, a haul. I have a ton of clothes to try on for this haul. It's cold. I am getting back in the bed. And I have a heating pad that I always have for my back. And sometimes I grab it on my stomach. Today I have it on because it's cold. And I need some heat. <laughs> so... I'm going to let y'all know if they come. I took the chain off the door so that they can just come in um, and do whatever they need to do. But the air is getting colder and colder. And, yeah, uh, yeah, it's cold. So, I will keep y'all abreast because I want to do makeup, but it's too cold to sit over there. And if you look over there, so that's my station. And up there, that's where the... Um, the cold air is coming out and that's right over top of my station so i can't sit there and do makeup it's cold if i warm up a little bit i might just go grab the makeup and bring it here to the bed because i do want to do makeup i need some makeup therapy today but uh it's really cold y'all pray for me because i don't have to call these people back and you know yeah, so we'll be back. Hey everyone, can you hear it? That is the sound of warm air blowing through my vent. I am so excited because now I can sit here at my sleigh station and do some makeup. So, let's get into it. Come on, ladies. Let's go to the front row. Woo! What's up, y'all? How y'all doing today? My name is Renee. Welcome to Blessed and Beautiful. It's so good to see you. And, um, oh, Drew is talking loud on Property Brothers. I'll be right back. All right. So, today I am using... I don't know why. Okay, so let me show you. I decided I wanted to do a palette that intimidates me. Let me show you the choices that I was going to do today. All right. Okay. First one was Indigo Ink, which I haven't really used yet because it just... It's a lot of colors. And I don't see like a, a transition shade and these are like super too light and then these I don't know they're kind of neon and I don't know when I open this I look at it and then I close it back up all right so that's the first one indigo eat by menagerie I love it I love menagerie I have other stuff by them but you know I haven't used that one yet okay so next is the OPV beauty ocean palette this is another one where you know you would think it's just bronze and some gold and this bright neon orange this yellow and burgundy like what's what's to intimidate I'm intimidated I don't know what to do with this I'm just like I guess this could be a transition shade here you know kind of like where I would start and then after that I'm like I don't know all right so that's that one and then the third one that I just decided I was going to go ahead and use today is the so tasty um hot dog palette is this yeah that the hot dog palette by um i heart revolution <sighs> when i first saw this palette i was like that's a nice palette and my sister and my mom were with me and they both said the same thing we were like oh that's nice i remember we were looking down at the palette like this and we were like, oh, that's really nice. And then I've gotten home and was like, I don't know what to do with it. Well, we're going to figure it out today. We're going to figure it out today. That's what we're going to do. All right. All right, let's get started. Okay, first we're going to swatch. Anytime you get a palette and you don't know what to do with it, swatch. Like, you know, especially if you stay, I would say stay in the order of the palette because nine times out of ten, when they make the palette, they put the colors near each other that would work well together. 
that's what most companies should do. So, so we're going to start out and they feel amazing. Like this is, an, let's do it this way. This is a really nice palette. I mean, it, it really is. These mattes are smooth and buttery. They're a little, uh, I don't want to, what's the best word to say? They have like kick up. They do have kick up, but very pigmented. So that's catch up. And this is roller coaster right there. And then this is worst, like liver worst. Yeah, but they just, they just stopped at worst. <laughs> and then they have the shade um, hot dog. Y'all, I'm telling you, this is a very nice palette. I'm going to check and see if they still have it. I don't think they do, but I just never, I, whenever I see it, I'm like, I'm going to do it. And then I just put it away. This is sauce. That's hot dog. This is sauce. Okay. And this next one is called barbecue. This one kind of looks like clay. This is a good transition shade right there for me. All right. That's called barbecue. I would have thought something a little bit more burgundy would have been barbecue, but this ain't my palette. So yeah. Um, this next one is relish. And again, this ain't my palette, but relish is usually green, but today it's gold. So next we have Frank, like beef Franks, you know, it's kind of nice. They all kind of look the same though, don't they? Like these two right here. They're looking a little similar. They're off just by a tad, like really. This next one is called Bun. Why are they all the same color? Like, this is why I've been staring at it for the longest time, like trying to figure out what am I supposed to do? It's called Bun. It looks brown in the pan, but on here, it looks kind of reddish. I don't know. I guess if you think of the top part of the bun, that's kind of brown at the top, I guess. Like if you think about bread and buns, maybe, I don't know. This one is called Grilled. That's a nice shade. At least it wasn't black, like burnt. This is banger. And I've heard that word before, but I don't know what it means. Um, but that's banger, which is banging. Like, that's nice. Okay, then we have mustard. This is the only one in a palette that makes absolutely very good sense. This one is called mustard. Like, they couldn't not make it yellow. So there it is. And actually, that yellow is showing up quite nice. Okay, next we have footlong. Oh, I'm liking this last row. Okay, so this is called footlong. And... Why? I don't know. Maybe because, is this like hot dog? Yeah, it's kind of like hot dog, but a shade off. So this is hot dog right there. And that's foot long. You see how they, they just made this one longer? I made the swatch longer. All right, next is Oh My Dog, which I actually do like this one. And then this one I've been looking at all day. This one is called Sizzling. I thought this one would have been grill, but no, this is Sizzling, which, you know, I guess they could have called it charcoal. I don't know. All right, next we got Tofu. Tofu dog. I, if I saw a dog like this, I, I wouldn't want to eat it. Um, we got Link, which is like the same color as Hot Dog and Foot Long. And then we have Fairground. So those are the last three. Okay, so this is Tofu dog for all y'all that like tofu. There you go, representation. The next one is Link. See? It actually looks like ketchup. And then the last one is called Fairground, which this is the only place. Everything else in here is food. And then at the end is Fairground. Not backyard, not you know, at the park, this is fairground. Okay, so there we go. These are the shades. And these do um, remind me of fall a lot because in my neighborhood, all of the leaves, when they fall off the trees, they start changing to all these different colors. And so it really reminds me of fall. Um, so you all, let me know what colors make you think of fall um, down in the comment section below if you didn't do that on the last video. Um, I just want to know, you know, what everybody else's interpretation of autumn and fall is because everybody's is not the same. So, all right. So now we're going to get started. I have already primed and prepped and we're eight minutes in, but you got swatches like live swatches. So now you're going to get a live look. Okay. So let's get started. Um, we're going to start with barbecue because that one was a good brown shade. And I think that would be a good, um, a good start. So I'm going to use this as my transition. I'm using a nice fluffy brush because I just want it to be a background and I don't want to have to do a whole lot of blending around the edges. <clears throat> and this brush, which is from Moda, is their crease brush. And this brush I really like. Now, the only thing I don't like about it is how big it is. But because it's um, a shade that I don't mind it getting, you know, all over my lid. No, no big. Lots of kick up. Tons. So I had to. Alright. Alright, moving on. So now we've done this background. Right? This little. Okay, so let's get into a shade. I'm going to use. I'm going to use foot long, which is. 
just to put like a little more red and I'm going to use a brush that's a little bit smaller because I want to keep it. Now this is another crease brush by Moda but this is their Pro Line and this is the BMX 430 and this is a smaller um, brush that's actually clean. Wow. And so I'm going to use this just to go, um, you know, more inside my, yeah, right there. Okay. Okay, that's pretty. I like that. All right, I'm gonna put one more color just to get to know these mats. Um, let's do Frank. Frank is also kind of red. Um, Frank is right here. So we're gonna use that. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, and I just want to see, you know, how it's gonna look. Just wanted to add another color I'm using the same brush which I think is kind of a waste because this formula is pretty good and I think they could have used some other colors what is this called so tasty they could have done like some uh, avocado or some onion colors or um, tomato, like this other stuff that people put on hot dogs besides just uh, mustard. So I think they could have branched out a little bit with some other colors. Okay, so for my shimmers, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do oh my dog. I'm gonna do these two. This is probably gonna be in a corner. Oh my dog, and then roller coaster. I forgot this one was in here, and this will go near the edge. Yeah, that one's like a set right there. So let's see how that picks up. I'm gonna put that on the outside part first. It picks up nicely. Ooh. Check that out. That's pretty. I didn't even have to spray it, but let's spray it anyway just to see. What happens? Let's see if it gets a little more metallic. Now, for those of y'all who don't know, I love these flat brushes, and I don't see. Oh, yes, I do. Here's one. Okay, and it's clean. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go into this one, which is worst. Look at that. Picked it right up. Do you know how long I've had this? Now, I see a little bit of fallout, but not a ton. So we got those, okay, very pretty. And I'm gonna bring this over some because I just want that gold to be like in that, that inner corner. Now these shades, they do have fallout. They do, they do. All right, let's do underneath. I'm gonna use, I love these type of brushes, these smudger brushes, because it fits right under here. And I have a smaller one, here's one. Small for my eyeballs. Let's pick a different color we haven't used yet. Let's use, hmm, oh, let's use mustard. Use a small, once again, a very small brush because I don't want it to go everywhere. I'm gonna go into grilled, which was the deepest shade right there, the deepest matte. And I'm gonna put that in the outer corner just to deepen it up. Okay, so. 
that's the look so far. I'm going to put on some mascara, some, um, some liner, and I'm going to put that gold in the inner corner, and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, and here is the finished eye look. And I have some thoughts <laughs> about this palette. Before I start, let me tell you what I use from my shop mustache um, that you know I use on my face. So this is the Alamar Cosmetics um, Blush Trio, and I use these two colors here for my blush, and then of course for my um, contour. Um, this complexion trio is the golden hour for you know under my eyes and anywhere that I use concealer and then I started to use this just to see how I liked it but it just was I don't know it just didn't look right so I went back to my butter bronzer because I am trying to get all the way pan with this almost there I used my HD studio um, eyeshadow primer I used this palette, the I Heart Revolution So Tasty Hot Dog Palette. I use my Banana Bright Face Primer. And let's see, I used this um, Instant Age Rewind Eraser Multi Use Concealer <laughs> from uh, Maybelline. And mine is in the shade Caramel 144 Caramel, which I do like this. And anything else? Is that it? I use. Oh, I didn't use this. My NYX Matte Finish, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Now let me. Okay. My camera's about to die, so I need to hurry up. I'm charging it, but it's just not charging while I'm recording. So. Let me hurry. Um, I used the Maybelline Fit Me number 330 Toffee Caramel. And so, all right, let me tell you what I think about this eye look. Okay, so I like it, but it's so one note. Like I used four different shades on my lid. Um, I used, you know, this shade here, and that's um, Frank, and I used Hot Dog here and I use roller coaster which is this color right here and for my inner corner highlight I used O dog um, I also use this shade here called worst and I just feel like no matter what I put on my eyes it just went one note and I went back and oh I used this deep color um, grilled and that's my outer corner you can't see it and I put it on twice so this is a good formula but it's just all one note like everything just seems to all just go to the one color so you know if you're um, using this palette just for like an everyday type of thing yeah perfect I mean you can very subtly see the um, shades there is dimension I do see where I use shimmer versus where it's just matte um, the inner corner highlight I applied twice the yellow underneath I applied three times um, yeah so I'm not sure I don't understand how <laughs> eyeshadow just disappears but um, yeah so I'm gonna play with it some more um, I do love the formula it just seemed to go well it just was me constantly applying it because it was like I can't see it um, so that's what I feel about um, this palette what I suggested if you don't mind it being a very subtle everyday type of palette um, then sure if you're looking for something that has more dimension and you can go from day to night with then I would say no I wouldn't choose this particular palette um, so I hope that you enjoyed this video I hope that you um, liked 
watching me um, use another palette and all of my items from my Shop My Stash. Um, on my lips is the Real Her Moisturizing Lipstick. I do like it. I just don't like the shade. Um, but this is the shade Gold Digger. So I tried to make sure I pulled from my stash so that you can see the things that I'm using. You know, if you like that, please give me some likes. Um, I do hope that if you're not um, subscribed, that you would subscribe. And if you are part of my Slady Squad and you're here again with me, thank you so much for being here on the front row. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Well, you know what we say around here, whether it's day or evening, whatever it is, wherever you are, I hope that it's good. Don't forget to pray because we really need it. And then don't forget to slay. All right, everyone. Bye.